Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a comparison video on the latest release of Ubuntu and 19.04, dubbed Disco Dingo. And on the left hand side, we've got Ubuntu 18.10, uh, dubbed, you know what, to be honest, I don't know. It's in the past and it's all about the future here. So uh, let's start off here. Now, this will be by no means a uh, scientific assessment of the two. Mostly just about look and feel and regarding a few specs here and there. So starting off, uh, what you can immediately perhaps see is the uh, the evolutionary or revolutionary difference in kernels. So Linux has been on their 4.x something something kernel for quite a number of uh, months to years now. And if you have a look on the right hand side, the very cool purple look of Disco Dingo on Ubuntu 19.04 uh, actually has uh, the latest kernel which is running the 5.x or 5 point something kernel which is really good to see so basically long story short it's better for uh, latest software and hardware in particular hardware CPUs all sorts of drivers that sort of thing so that's really really great to see uh, moving on let's uh, let's click a few buttons and get a look of it, a bit of a look and feel for it Already you can see a bit of an animation is different there, so that's nice to see. And a slight icon pack update. Not always, but a few things there are a little bit different, which is nice to see there as well. Uh, also, so it is a little bit refined. Uh, Ubuntu these days does use on both the right and the left the GNOME interface. Previously used the Unity interface up until about Ubuntu 18.04. But it really has come a long way here in uh, actually really getting into the fold with the GNOME interface. And if we have a look here, it's uh, GNOME 3.32 as opposed to 3.30, which really doesn't mean anything uh, from a numbers perspective. But if you go into it and delve into it a bit more, you will find that the files are with their new icon packs and they're more of a streamlined look and view there so and a feel. So you can see that it is a little bit different. It, sometimes uh, this is actually a lot more updated between versions. A little bit the same still, but uh, it's doing what it does best, just small refinements here and there, which actually don't really come from Ubuntu, it really comes from the GNOME crew, but uh, that's what it's uh, working with these days, Ubuntu. It's, get, it's having a bit of a, a look and feel of the previous Unity-based Ubuntu, but something I won't get into too much either with its uh, GNOME back in here. Uh, the wallpapers are obviously something that uh, I probably wouldn't mention. They don't really matter. People just download their own wallpapers. But uh, something of a community following when it comes to wallpapers here. So um, I find that uh, this is a pretty cool new look with this uh, dingo with his uh, head cans on <laughs> listening to music. Uh, what else? Uh, so uh, with the, the Windows Manager, we've mentioned all that. We've looked at the kernel. Uh, the software is something that I generally never really talk about because if you wanted any piece of software, all you would need to do is go ahead and download it from the repositories, that sort of thing. But um, or even backports or whatever it is that you need to do. But uh, yeah, just as a bit of a, an idea on this one, uh, it's yeah, it doesn't look too bad. One thing I probably might have a look into is. We'll see if HTOP is installed and see how much RAM it's using. So straight off the bat, we are using uh, just under a gigabyte of RAM on the latest release, which is pretty heavy, to be honest. Uh, what if I were to jump across to here and I hope to God that I've installed this? Yes, great. So surprisingly, almost as much. Uh, I mean, between operating systems, it's it's hard to say that there really is a difference. It's even fluctuating there. Now, this even has less. So, would I say it's optimized being the new release? Probably not. But uh, it seems to be uh, it's roughly sitting at the same as the previous uh, version of Ubuntu 18.04. So super quick video guys, just wanted to show you what was going on there. Uh, it's uh, yeah, just a bit of a look at uh, the latest release uh, versus the, the previous release there. They are six months apart. Uh, Ubuntu does that, so iterative cycles every six months a new version comes out. 19.04 of course stands for 2019 and the month uh, April. Uh, it is still in beta release as of talking, so I probably wouldn't use it as your daily driver just yet. It is uh, any moment about to come out as uh, something that you can upgrade to though as uh, on your existing Ubuntu 18.10 operating system if you currently are running that. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Super simple, quick, like I said, unscientific, bit of a fun video comparison on the two. Cheers.